Hello everyone, I'm Caleb with Danzy Design Build and today I want to show you this new basement walkout entry that we are starting in Eagle Mountain, Utah and the header and the structural header prep that we're doing. So let's just jump right in here and I'll show you how we get these installed. So we start by fabricating the steel header piece and in this case this is a five inch header that's three eighths thick and this is something that's specified by the engineer and then we actually get this we cut this out and get all the bolt holes cut to the pattern that he specifies and then we bring that over here and get it mounted up here and and uh, I actually just use these blocks to prop these up here and hold this temporarily I've got this finished but then we actually drill these out and there's quite a bit of powder that comes out of there. You can see down here, all this powder that we've created today by drilling out these holes. And there are actually 13 holes on this particular one. And it's spanning the, the distance of this walkout entry window, the existing window. And the reason we need to do this is because this, um, concrete header is going to need to be cut out. This is a mark that's 83 inches above the inside floor, inside the basement. And so that's the height we need to get a door to fit here. So this just fits perfectly here to, to let us have about an inch of space between this and then the actual door that's gonna go in here. Then when we do the concrete cutting, we're gonna cut this open right here and all the way across the top. And then this is going to assume the, the weight of the house and we're actually going to put another one of these on the inside of the house as well. So once we get it drilled out, the really important thing is to clean the holes. And so we actually use the nylon brush to do that. And that's essentially just a pipe cleaner that has nylon bristles and then uh, scrapes the concrete powder out. And then we blow it out with uh, compressed air and then do the nylon brush again and then do the the brush again and then the compressed air back and forth until it's clean. And then we can actually put the epoxy in and that's actually two part chemical. And that is something that we just use with the, uh, with like a regular caulk gun and put that in there. It's a chemical basically kind of looks like cement when it's done drying, but is intended to secure structural members like these bolts to a concrete foundation. So that's basically the process here. And then once this is installed, we can actually start the excavation and dig this walk out, op like open up the earth here and then actually start piling the dirt up and, and start working so that once that's done, we can actually cut this and then install the door later. So. So that's a little bit about how we get these walkout entries ready to go. And uh, if you need help building a walkout entry in your home, or you need help drawing plans or getting things figured out as far as how to get things ready to go with engineering or with the city, you can reach out to us. We can help you do that. You can schedule a consultation on our website, danzydesignbuild.com. Thanks for your time today and have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.